A giant ship's engine broke down and no one could repair it. So they hired a mechanical engineer with over 30 years of experience. He meticulously inspected the engine from top to bottom. After a thorough examination, the engineer unloaded his bag and produced a small hammer and gently tapped something. The engine roared back to life shortly after. Afterward, the engineer informed the ship owner that the total cost of fixing the massive ship was $20,000. The owner couldn't believe it, so he then requested a detailed invoice, to which the engineer replied, simple, with a hammer, $10, for knowing where to knock and how much to knock, $19,990. This story emphasizes the importance of appreciating one's expertise and experience. When a person does a job in 30 minutes, you owe the person for the years, not the minutes. A giant ship's engine broke. If you sit alone for three days, no television, no book, no texting, simply by yourself, let's see what happens. You must know the nature of who you are. You should not go on dodging yourself and one day you will explode into something. You must know what is the level of madness you're suffering. When I say madness, if your mind is out of your control, is it called madness in, defin in definition? Hello? If your mind does not take instructions from you, it's out of control. Is that called madness? Just try and just go sit quietly in your room. Just see what all your mind does. You, you decide, don't tell anybody. You decide what is the level of madness you're going through. With this, if you enter the world, what will you create? You will only create who you are, isn't it? If you sit alone for three days, no television, no book. Yogananda, bro, A, hey, it's a fact, right? There's a lot of distractions. You already know there's a lot of distractions. If you don't take the time to get away from them periodically, regularly, put a schedule on it, then you're just going to be engulfed in madness, dude. And you're going you're gonna to be generating a lot of chaos in your life because you're never going to have that time to go in, inner, go to the inner, and clear it out, clean it up, and be the thing that you choose to be. You're always going to be what you're feeding yourself. Take the time. Take the time. Listen to, listen, listen to the man. In Japan, the barcode on meat packages is printed on a tag that reacts with the ammonia released by spoiled meat. When the meat is no longer fit to eat, the tag darkens and the customer is unable to buy spoiled meat because the code cannot be scanned. That's a good ass idea, but they ain't gonna do that here. You know why? Because they know your goofy ass is gonna buy the meat if you don't know that it's gonna spoil. That's why they ain't gonna do it. So I wonder though, could you get could you get something like this is just off the head, maybe on Amazon. Is there maybe something you could come like bring to the grocery store like a tool and you basically like touch it up against the meat package and it could tell you like if the ammonia levels are too high, it can go off and be like, yo, that's not good. Hey, if that don't exist, I just gave y'all a free one, bro. That's a million dollar, that's a million dollar idea. I want to know, here's an easy, an easy way to know if you are controlled. Is there somebody or something that you're not allowed to criticize? That's right. Simple as that. Yeah. If you lived in Nazi Germany, you couldn't criticize the Nazi party. If you lived in the Soviet Union, you couldn't criticize the Communist Party of Russia. If you live in China right now, you can't criticize the Chinese Communist Party. If you live in North Viet in North Korea, you can't criticize Kim Jong Un. Okay. If you live in Cuba, you can't criticize the Cuban Communist Party. If you live in America, who can't you criticize? Ooh. Who can't you criticize in America? Who can't you criticize, yo? Who was who was ordering social medias to not allow people to speak their mind? Who can you not talk about right now in society? 
without it being hateful or whatever. Who can you what what can you not talk about? Who can you not speak of? That's who's trying to control you. Freedom of speech is so important. It's, that's why it's the First Amendment. And the Second Amendment is so important. It's there to protect it. And a bunch of other things. Without the Second Amendment, you don't have any of the other amendments. They're unprotected. You need it. This Jesus man you're talking about, how old is he? When was he born? Etymologically, mm. 2,000 years ago, do we have a name? And a person by the name Jesus, when actually the letter J only appeared 500 years ago, if not 800 years ago. Wow. Then you, you begin to look at this and say, give him his rightful name. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you translate names in theology? Translation of names is illegal. Jerusalem, Jerusalem remains Jerusalem. David remains David. So why does Yeshua or Yeshua or Yeshua right. get translated in Rome to become Jesus and then is painted? Spain to become a Caucasian boy with blue eyes and etc. So how does a black man go to Europe and come back in a Bible looking like white? And, and Africans don't want to question that mm -hmm. because apparently you are tempering with divinity. Mm -hmm. you, you have become satanic. You have become evil. But in, in history and education and proper learning, he has no emotions. This Jesus man you're talking about. I think it'd be more satanic to just allow lies to be fed to you. Or I, I not really just say lies. I would say more like... Uh, unknown truths right like we know for a fact j didn't exist the letter j wasn't part of language i say this all the time why do y'all call him jesus his name was yeshua because there was that it was nowadays we call it joshua but joshua is just a translation off of yeshua so it's like why you call him jesus that ain't even joshua like you just you just don't want the name to be said because there's, which y'all need to understand too. In Yeshua's culture, of of, he was he was Jewish, right? They spoke Hebrew. The Hebrew language is designed to be forth putting of vibrations. Every word has power in the Hebrew language. Certain vibrations come off of each word each letter right yeshua has power <sighs> has power if you don't know what i'm talking about please look it up i always give you the clues